Hello and welcome to a brief overview of FFT's 2020 Year 7 Transition Service. We're delighted this year to be working alongside GL Assessment. This is going to allow schools to upload CAT4 test data and we can then generate some regular Key Stage 4 estimates for your Aspire target setting dashboards. To submit the data to FFT, you need to log into Aspire. You need to go to the spanner icon, so you do need to be a managed data user. That will then give you these options here under the Manage Data menu. So under the 2020 FFT Results Service, you need to select the Gear 7 CAT4 option. What that will then take you to is this landing page, which has got the upload deadlines on and some more information about the service. There is a help button here, which is incredibly useful. It will give you a really useful guidance document, and that will then take you to step one. Step one is making sure that your new year seven are in Aspire. The vast majority of schools have connected their management information system to us through Aspire Data Exchange. So you just need to check for updates to make sure we've got the right pupils in there. Step two is to download the template. So you just click on the button here and the template will appear with your year seven pupils. And it will look like this. So you've got on there some organizational information, some student information, but more importantly, you've got the space where you can input the four separate assessment outcomes for the CAT4 tests. Once that's done, you need to save the file. Please save it using this format, include your school's seven digit DFE number. And then you need to read through the terms and conditions and just confirm that you're happy to proceed. That will take you to the final stage, which is submitting the data. Choose the file, submit it into FFT Aspire, and we will check it to make sure that it's valid and there's no errors. You'll get a confirmation report that looks like this, which is time stamped and date stamped. We'll also point out if there are any errors, a very detailed error report, so you can go back and address those. The schedule works on weekly windows. So the first deadline is Friday the 18th of September. You will get your estimates back by the following Friday, and that works all the way through the autumn term up until the 4th of December. You'll get back 30 separate subject specific estimates for every single student. You'll also get some summary indicators for every year seven student, as well as some subject and pupil group information. I hope that's given you just a, a brief overview of the system. We are running a series of, of more uh, detailed webinars on there. So do follow us on Eventbrite and we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.